Hi everyone and welcome back. How are you guys? Today guys I'm so excited to act like stare act something that honestly I am I'm not quite sure if I'm ready for a look. Today we're here with the Tam reaction and between me and you I have no idea what we're getting into today. Like when I tell you I have tried to avoid literally everything for this comeback like I actually mean everything. I want to say the only thing that I saw because it was actually quite hard to miss it was um there was a promotional photo with like multiple of him in it and it look it was a lot it was that one photo and it was a lot and since then I have tried to avoid everything else and I don't even know if that like correlates with what we're watching so there is that um but with that being said look pause warning if you don't know look Taman is an alt bias shiny is an alt group and I am here to support him in every single way possible and if you can't get behind that do not watch this video I will be bombing a lot, so yes. Um, but yes, like, as you can see from the title, though, we're not just doing the MV. We're also going to do the first couple of songs on the album. Um, so this is part one of the album listen as well as the MV watch. Is it smart to do everything in one sitting? Probably not, but um, we're, we're going to go with it and see what happens. Um, so we are going to watch the MV for Sexy in the Air. I'm nervous, but we got this. Um, following that, we are going to do the first... Hello? Don't play, please don't play. Um, the first four songs? The first three songs. I have everything pulled up. It, it's a little confusing. The first three songs off of the album, which are Goat, um, Horizon, everything is gonna play. Oh no. Horizon. Stop! Shh. Horizon. And what is the, uh, the, un, the Unknown Sea. The Unknown See, I am so sorry this is a mess. Um, so yes, we are going to do those four in this and then the last three songs in the next video. Please stick around for that if you like to watch it. Um, but until then, we are going to get into this MV and see what it's about. Now, this is on the official channel for his new company. However, there are no lyrics, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, but I, I guess let's go ahead and get into this and see what happens. Oh no, let's, let's do this. Let's go. I heard incoming. I did not know. Hold on. The, 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 what? Oh, what? emotions okay <laughs> I'm like, ah. Ooh. hold on shut up hold on god this man's voice is everything shut up I'm fine I'm so fine where is his shirt Jesus Lord okay Listen, listen, this look, this look, my God, he has been putting in work. This look, this look that he gets. If you've watched his live stages, if you watch his concerts, he gets this look on stage, which is, it's such a contrary because he's kind of just a little like squish. But this look, this look that overtakes him when he is on stage is so good. Shut up. I'm fine. <laughs> Work 
No, shut up! I hear him counting, but the, the ding, 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 how the, the, the melody is going down like that. I love that. His voice. His voice is... Ah! trouble, I'm gonna be able Something that turned me down Now, now, now Making me crazy Making me spin around Now, now, now his voice with this the, the higher tone that he's using the ta -ta 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 -ta, I love This choreo is so good. I love getting the shot of it. dance break i wasn't expecting the change oh my god okay i love this complete change to the black and white it definitely gives something to it like i said i, I thought we were gonna get like kind of like a beat drop in a dance break and let's be real tamman kills it when he dances so that's what i am anticipating to have it kind of take that but switch it slightly like what This is crazy. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, the dancers are killing this. This is crazy. Oh, I love it. What am I gonna do now? Because I'm this early trying to find my vacuum read. Not him. What the fuck? Shut up. Cause I'm this early trying to find my back and real Come more than a purchase time Jaya do in that a you young hand and feel it Oh yeah Jerry Noah Hunky Six is in the air Oh my goodness, what is the, the way the camera is going with them? Are you fucking kidding me? Shut up Jaya do in that a you young hand and feel it Beautiful Jerry Noah Hunky Six the skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up his voice. God, oh, shut up! This one is so fucking.
is this? Horizon. Is that a B but is that a B side? Possibly, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I can't even remember the three B sides. I didn't know at the beginning of this video what it just happened. Oh my god. Oh, okay. 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 First, his voice. Listen, if you have been with me on literally any stage of my shiny slash Taman journey, starting back in 2019 when I got to know him prior to seeing him in Super M, which was a fever dream, his voice has always just stuck out to me. There is something so incredibly gorgeous about his voice. The fluctuation in his tone, the, 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 the higher tone that he can use, it just... I don't know, it, just, it, it adapts to so many sounds and melodies and it sounds so fucking good. And the way that he starts out this song, are you kidding me? I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with these vocal notes that we are getting. And even though they may seem like simplistic, I don't know, there is just there is something about them. I love it. I love the sound of his voice in this. I love that seduction that you get with it. I love the fact that this MV all had like a darker color palette, but it, it still found a way to pop. It still found a way to stand out. The scenes, the way that these scenes were shot, the camera movements to emphasize certain dance moves. Like, honestly, I feel like this MV was really well done. I wish the MV had lyrics, but that is okay. I, I, I can look up lyrics, but holy shit, wow. Taman is a phenomenal vocalist and a phenomenal dancer. And anyone who disagrees with that, I'm sorry, you can argue with the wall because you're very much wrong. Because holy shit, wow. He is an incredible artist. That was, that was a lot more than I was <laughs> <laughs> I never know what to like to expect when it comes to Damon. He is always a lot, like always, but holy shit that song. Holy shit that song. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What was the B side on the end of this? Or what was this song called? Horizon, I think, right? Horizon. Okay. Keeping that in mind. Um <gasps> Excuse me. With that being said, we are gonna go ahead and get into our first B side, which is Go I Am a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but we got this, we can do this. Also, lyric videos. Look, for anyone who has never done an album list with me before, I use lyric videos. I am very well aware that they are not always accurate. I, I mean, this channel, for the most part, I, I feel like they are usually relatively accurate. Um, there really isn't many lyric videos to go off of with this album because it came out today. And I, I just, I don't know. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to listen to it. I'm hoping these are good. If not, I apologize. Obviously, I'm not going to know until we actually watch these. Um, but let's, let's see what happens. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Let's go. Ooh. Get me the trophy. That was not what I was expecting, but this ding 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 interesting. Give it the trophy, finish out the whole day. Can't get a home, but I'm making my own track. You know he's in the background. I love it. Finish out the whole day. Can't get a home, but I'm making my own track. You know that I get so much hate to the king, Jacob so yeah. at the beginning and then his vocals I can't shut up I cannot I love the, the melody pulled back right there no. 
No. No. Hold on a second. Fuck. I feel very overwhelmed. Oh my god. Okay, I'm really loving this like West Coast beat that they're using. Like I actually really enjoy this. And him doing this kind of like sing rap on top of it. Are you fucking kidding me? Taman. Taman. What? What? <laughs> Also, by the way, please note because I'm not 100% sure if these lyric videos are accurate, this may not be the most like analytical reaction I've ever done, which is okay. At the end of the day, we are still here to support Taman, so I'm just throwing that out there. Um, but yeah. I can see him killing it with the dance in this. Are you kidding me? Like, if he ever gets the chance to perform this live, I have no idea what he's promoting with this. I have no idea what he's doing with this album. Like I said, I have been avoiding everything. But this song, like, you cannot tell me he would not kill her with a dance in this. Are you kidding me? I didn't need him whispering at me. I didn't need him to. Oh my god, great. Right, 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 what? Right, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, I'm greatness. I'm so stupid. Shut up. I didn't need him spelling it out and whisper to me. We're getting this almost like slightly weird jazzy flip to it that is an actual jazz, but it has that little I don't even know what to call it. And now it seems like we're completely transitioning. What is happening with the song? What the fuck? <laughs> I just knew it. Shut up. Okay. 
It's very clever with the way that they did that. And again. I said I wasn't ready for the last whisper. I wasn't ready for that. Fuck, I can't. Oh my god. So, I have no idea if these lyrics are accurate. So, unfortunately, this is not going to be a super analytical reaction. Once again, that is okay. We are still here to support Taman. Um... But I feel like this particular song is going to have the same, like, feel to a lot of people or more of, like, the same reaction for a lot of people as, like, Riznus did. Like, you're either really going to vibe with this song or you're not. And honestly, I kind of love it. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's there's something different, especially with the way that they play with the change-ups in the songs, the little things in the background. You hear his ad-libs, you hear his kind of like softer tone in the back. That complete like flip that we got towards the end for it to go back. What? Even just the way that he is using his tone in these two songs alone, like getting to hear that fluctuation in his voice because his voice is incredible. His voice has so much range to it and I, I I feel like in these two songs like you obviously didn't hear everything but you got to hear something amazing and I love that I love that so much and I'm quite curious to see how this song is going to be performed live because like I said with those those sections the um the dance break and then then again at the end like I can I guess I could just picture it in my head and it's going to look incredible. And I know that he is going on tour. I'm really, really hoping that he comes to the US, but that song. The song was not what I was expecting at all. Holy shit. Okay. That being said, we're Ah! Horizon! Perfect! We are getting into our next piece, which is Horizon, which was at the end of the MV. So I am assuming that at some point, his company is going to release an MV for this as well. I feel like it's safe to assume that, which is very intriguing. I wonder if this is going to be like, an, like um, a continuation of that MV or if this is going to be something different, like in terms of not only just sound and style, but just like how it's produced because that at the end was very light. You got to see different colors other than like kind of like the dull, like faded out colors that we saw for his MV. So... I, I'm excited, but also a little nervous, but let's, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's see. Let's go. Okay. I wasn't expecting this like fun, like retro sound to come from him. That sounds really cool. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, the way that it started already had the retro feel to it, but it wasn't like full force until we get to this. And I kind of love it because I don't think that he has a retro y song in his discography. He may have one. Oh my god, I feel like the B-sides are just slipping from my brain one by one. Because I know that Kibum typically can touch on like like a retro-esque style and sound. I feel like that, it, that honestly it sounds really good with Key. But like, I don't 
I feel like I don't remember Taman really doing this unless I'm crazy and I may be crazy, but I'm telling you right now, my brain feels like a mush from the end until now. So if I'm missing something, it is because of that. But this sound with him and it's just also this, these fun little things that you're hearing in the background. <laughs> I like that. It goes with me. The way the do I can't what? What is these changes in the songs? What the hell is happening? I can't, Marion. I love that we had we had special uh, spatial horizon before like that that um like synthy like I I don't know what year to put it on I'm sorry I don't know if it's a 70s or an 80s I feel like it's more 70s I could be wrong I don't know it's before my time I, I, I lost track of what I was saying <laughs> I love that. I love that. actually release an MV for this the way this is in the complete opposite from sexy in the air I honestly I kind of love this which is funny because I feel like for me like because I didn't grow up listening to like kind of like retro -y music like that like I, I feel like aside from like 90s like R&B and pop like Anything prior to that, it, it it's almost a little lost on me. So I feel like retro music is always like a hit or miss. But there's, there's honestly, there's something different about the way that certain group, groups like present retro sounds to me that like I really enjoy. And I, I feel like because of this, the way that things are slightly changing the sense that you hear in the background, but also the way that they are utilizing his voice in this album the way that you're hearing those fluctuations in his tone like it just it suits really well and like i i feel like this is like the perfect way to show like 
how incredibly diverse Taman can be with his music. And I fucking love that. I love that so much. Once again, not 100% accurate. What words? Sure, on the accuracy of these lyrics. That's where I was trying to go. Um, so I can't be super, like, analytical in that aspect. And I'm so sorry. I really wish I could be. But, like, it feels weird to try to be analytical when you don't actually know. Yeah. Um, speaking of don't know, the next song is The Unknown Sea. That was a really bad attempt of a joke. I am so sorry. <laughs> but also know that this is the last song for this sitting. Um, the next three will be in the next video. I am excited because I, I don't know. I feel like other than like, like, I don't know, like a, a normal like ballad -y type song. I, I feel like this album has given us a little bit of different things right now. So I'm excited to see where this was going to go. And... I don't know. Let's let's check it out. Let's go. What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? Okay. Oh, that was beautiful. But I do like this lyric. I draw and paint with my two feet every day. Like, I, I make the best of what I have. I, I paint my own picture. I, I don't know. I, I like that metaphor being, like, displayed in that kind of format. Like, that sentence. I don't know. I really like that for some reason. Oh, my God. His voice. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what he did, though. If anyone saw me, they would think I was reckless and stupid. Leaving behind everything familiar and throwing your whole body into an unfamiliar world. That's kind of what he did, though. Leaving SM to pursue his solo career with a company that is actually going to treat him correctly. Like, he did something big. Like, especially leaving a company like that is as big and well-known as SM. But, like, I, it, it's a risk factor. You you don't know until you try. And I, I don't know. that, that, that that's, But I was like saying, that's literally what he did. Wow. I really like his voice in this. Oh, 
His voice sounds so fucking good in this. Ah! off this part of the album and knowing that there are three more songs on here <laughs> okay the song was beautiful as i said in the beginning like i i felt like he had touched on um different types of songs except for that like not necessarily ballady type song but like um the one song that kept popping into my head and i don't even think it's the title of it was rise dun, dun, dun. I don't even I my brain it does not work right now but that 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 song that I'm thinking of the the way that it's it, it sounds like I was waiting to see if we would get something like that because to me that is a, a very tame and sound and we kind of got that with this but like this song was honestly like it, it honestly it may be one of my favorites from him in general and honestly, it'll probably end up being my favorite off of this album. This song was so incredibly beautiful and meaningful because it's it's literally him. Like, he took that leap of faith. He took that jump to find something better, to better himself, to better his career. And going from something that you've known since you were young, like 12, 14, like, let's be real, like, Taman debuted when he was 14, but he was with the company for longer than that, like... To go from something that you have known almost your entire life to the unknown where people are calling you crazy and stupid for, like, changing things around, like, it's a risk. It's a risk that you have to be willing to take to better yourself. And I don't know, I, I, I felt that kind of shift in this song. And it was so beautiful. It was so freaking beautiful. But fuck, I wasn't ready for voice he sounds so good shut up ah i love that i love that so much oh my god that was beautiful this album so far is pure perfection i am really really excited but 
also very nervous about the last three songs, but that will be in the next part of the video. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. I do think out of the four songs that we listened to, um, I do think The Unknown Sea is my favorite, but I, I honestly, Sexy in the Air is just, it's something different. I don't know how to describe it. So I'm really not sure, like, where I sit with this album so far. And remember, we still have three songs left, so yeah. Uh, but I would love to know your opinions on what we watched so far, the songs that we listened to, Sexy in the Air, please, please, please let me know. And with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next part of the video. Okay, bye.